Hello everyone. So this is a continuation of our uh, lectures on uh, transport layer protocols. So we were discussing about the user datagram protocol which is a connectionless service, a connectionless protocol provided by the transport layer. So one a particular uh, application where this UDP can be used or one uh, where uh, the concept of an UDP is very useful is that of a remote procedure call. So let's, let's see what is this remote procedure. So in the previous lecture we talked about the DNS server application. So you have a client and a DNS server. The client wants the IP address for say antonys.ac.in. So it sends a request in the form of a UDP packet requesting the IP address, it sends it to the DNS server. The server finds the IP address for antonys.ec.in and puts it in a UDP packet and gives the response. So you have a request sent from the client to the server and the server gives the response. So don't you think that this can be, this is something like a function call or a procedure call that you might have learned in some programming language? So you may have a client which is the calling function or the calling procedure and D the DNS server which is the call procedure. So you are calling a function, you are calling a function like you can see in this uh, thing. So what you are doing is you are calling a function called get IP address and you are giving the name of the website whose uh, IP address you require as an argument, as a parameter to this function and this function get IP address is uh, it gets called and then it sends a result the, the function value returned by this function is the IP address say this is just a fictional IP address so this IP address is for antonys.ec.in so this is returned by the function so this is exactly what happens in a remote procedure call now if you write a C program for this in the same program you will write a function called client okay which will call a function called get ip address and then with by parameter it will give it will give this it will call this procedure get ip address with this as the argument and this function will return this value so uh, you may have something like this the only, now in case of a remote procedure call the only difference is that your calling program or the calling procedure and the call procedure are in two different locations. So one is in one machine here, client is in one machine. So this so you are implementing it as a procedure call. So client is in one machine. You call make a procedure call with parameters to the to another uh, function. So this function now get IP address does not reside in the client instead it resides in the DNS server it re resides in a different machine and this function this uh, machine this function or this procedure get IP address will return the IP address which is a value returned by the procedure and then this value will be now sent from this remote ma machine to the client. So this is what is the uh, procedure call is all about and uh, it was uh, started it was this concept was uh, it was uh, one of the work of uh, Birrell and Nelson in 1984 so here it allows programs to call procedures located on remote host so your it's just normal procedure call but now your your called procedures are uh, located in remote hosts so when a process in machine 1 calls a procedure in machine 2 okay so machine 1 is calling a procedure in machine 2 so machine 1 here calls a procedure in machine 2. So the process in machine 1 is suspended and the control goes to the call procedure. And this call procedure takes place, executes where? It executes in machine 2. And it returns the value. Information is transported back to the caller from the caller to the callee in the parameters and can come back in the procedure result. So whatever information is required from the calling machine uh, process is sent as parameters and whatever information is sent from machine 2 back to machine 1 that, that is that comes back as a uh, result of the procedure 
so and this whole process is transparent to the application programmer the application programmer does not know anything about it okay it, it is simply making a, a function call where that function is that is none of the concern of the uh, that is not of concern to the application program and uh, the again the terminology the procedure is called the client and the call procedure is known as the server and in this diagram so here step one client calls client step client step puts all the function calls uh, parameters everything into a packet gives it to the operating system operating system sends it over the network in the form of a udp packet and it receives at the receiver side operating system will make a call to the server step so server step will, will unwrap unwrap that packet or unmarshal that packet take out the parameters and then make a local call local procedure call to the server program here so the server program will get a reply it will give you uh, give a response or it will the function the procedure will return a value this rep, re, uh, this value will go back in the same way in this way the value will be sent in the put in the message through the server stub then it will come here it will go or trace all the way back then from here it will go to the client stub and from the client stub it will go to the client so these are the steps involved in the uh, remote procedure call now it is not that this rpc has uh, without any problems so what are the issues in rpc this i'm leaving it to you all for self study so you can refer to the book uh, computer networks by andrew s tenbom so you can uh, you can read up there are three problems uh, which are related to function calls so please study this so and uh, that is it about the remote procedure call thank you